this is really Lacey Renner. Um, you know, I was just telling you, honey, before I go back to Michigan, before I go back and, you know, go to 90 day psychotherapy, truly. You know, once you get out of there, you, you can't drink, kind of end up in a halfway house, you get a job. Maddie, my, a good friend of mine from West Seattle, <clears throat> he did it. <clears throat> He's, his dog died, and he uh, got he got drunk, and he went to Ann Arbor. He's a worker now. He's you know he's over forty years old. He just wants a family. He's working a bowling alley over there, and it's kind of like the movie The Big Lebowski. <laughs> you ever seen that movie? But Maddie's like this guy. And it's a thing where, um. Just like back being back in Spokane, it's like this it's like this thing where in two thousand seven, I'd really tell you this. I was up in Seattle and uh <clears throat> I went to a Nora Jones concert and she says Not Too Late for Love, that song. It was like a thing where, um, you know, I was like, Where's Lacey these days? This is back in two thousand seven, honey. And I googled your name online, couldn't find anything. And then, like, on fa when the, when Facebook came out, oh, God, there's Lacey. <laughs> and I know you have a boyfriend and, and everything, but, um, you know, I just want you to know that, like, you know, if you want, like, because, because of Willie Nelson, he's a guy, you know, he says that, like, you know, money makes girls horny. And I want you to know, like, when we were kids in high school or whatever, it was, like, I think it was so sweet. Like, that house that, you know, in Little Spokane, like, we were having a drink one night. There was a party at the house. And we had our feet in the pool, and you're so sweet. You're like, you're like, can I, you know, would you play guitar for me? And I was so shy. I don't know if I did. And then I kind of sit down. So we go back inside. The party's over with. And then you... You go into the dining room of this house on Little Spokane, and you grab some candles. And I would tell you, this house is wild. That house that you know in Little Spokane, it was built on a bar. When they dug the foundation for the house, my parents' friends built this house. It was like a thing where there's like, you know, dozens and dozens of whiskey bottles. When they dug the foundation in the backyard of that house, it's an ice skating rink. Truly, that house was built on a bar, honey. And um, <clears throat> it was the thing where if you thought like I was like really rich, it rocks my head. And how, you know, money makes girls horny. It's like a thing where, so the party's over with. And it's like a thing where, uh, you know, we were like 17 probably. But it was a thing where, you know, we had our feet in the pool and we used to play guitar. So I was shy, but then... But then you grab your candles and you're like, come with me into your parents' bedroom. I want to pour candle wax on your chest. So I think of the movie Basic Instinct, is what I'm thinking. And it was like a thing where I was going through puberty at the time and I started to have those, you know, kind of some acne on my chest, you know. I was like, just drip it on my back. And, you know, kind of thing like that, or like. You know, I think when I did have a job, when I was 17, up at uh, Hills Resort at Priest Lake, I was just washing dishes. It was a thing where, like, you know, we got together that night, and I got on board. And then, and then it's a thing where, it's a thing where, it's a thing where, you know, I had a job. <clears throat> Truly. I was, like, making, like, 420 an hour plus tips, but I had a job. I mean, do you want to live at Priest Lake, honey? Do you want a place up there? And I wonder if you like, um, you know, I'm a guy that, uh, that's like a thing where, and then, you know, I don't know what to tell you, except for, you know, whatever, like, you have herpes from some guy you slept with. You know, that doesn't bother me. I mean, just, you know, I'm in the healthcare system, like, you wouldn't believe. Just take a pill. But it's a thing where, like, I, I just can't stand the fact. Like, I just I just want you to know that, um, I just really love you. That's what it is. I do, like, you wouldn't believe. I don't, you know, I'm scared because you called my brother at work. 
like, you know, I'm on the road, I, I am, I just, I just want you to know, honey, like, like, um, you know, for one night, you know, we, we slept together up in a different bedroom at my parents' house, and it's so sweet, because, like, you, um, we slept together, and then <clears throat> this house, you, like, kind of unroll this window, and and any if you can if you're skinny enough to get out the window, you end up on this metal deck, and we're smoking a cigarette after. She's lazy. <laughs> this is in high school. She climbed out this window to smoke a cigarette afterwards. <laughs> this just rocks my head. Because I have a story. Because like there's this girl, uh, Marty Becker. I don't know if you know Marty. Uh, you know Gabe Blashbaugh. It was like a, you know, we're like a gay blush by Marty Becker. Like Journey's old boyfriend, gay blush by, you know, Journey quite well. It was like a time we were watching What's Eating Gilbert Grape, that giant debt movie in high school. So like Sean Dogman and Journey were there. And you and you and I uh, were sitting on the couch. You know, where you were holding me. I loved it. And it's a thing where like, uh, I just, I just, I just want you to know, be on the radio, or like this TV show or whatever, and, um, I just want you to know, I just, I will always be there for you, like, if, if you need money, or like, if you need, like, whatever you need, like, I go into the Pearl Jam song, Better Man, I mean, it's like that, honey, like, you can't find a better man. Or it's a thing where it just, like boys, you, just, you could date a lot of guys. Maybe so you just like guys, you just kind of move on to something new or whatever. I mean, you could. But, um, I love you so much. And you're so good to boys. You rock huge. And boys. I guess for men these days, but... But it's a thing where, like, uh, you're so good to boys. You just are. You're such a good girl. I'm not saying it to myself. I haven't drank one night. I'm like, where is little Barbara Walters these days? You know, I think of Lacey. I'm like, where is little Nancy Reagan these days? You know, I think of Lacey. And, then, and, and, you know, some people think, like, why is little Timmy Russert sleeping with Nancy Reagan and Barbara Walters? You know? And, and you never get to get pregnant. You know? You never did, but it's just... It'd be cool if you did, just because... But... Um, and I want you to know that, uh, you know, I just, if you're in an abusive relationship, I just can't stand you hurt. It just really upsets me if people hurt you. And I just can't stand it in my head. I just want you to know that I can't stand if people hurt you. I just want you to know that. And I love you. Like you wouldn't believe. I just I just I just would tell you. I just don't want to see you hurt. I just really don't. I I don't like it. I hate it. I I can't stand the fact that you getting hurt in life. I just hate it so much. I just do. I fucking I just do. I can't stand this stuff in my head. I mean, why? I'm just so upset. I just just tell me. You know, I get hold of me. My brother works at the office, or my parents' office, or whatever, which that's just called the office. He works at the office. You know how to get a hold of me if you want to talk to me. Uh, you know, I'm going back to Michigan or whatever, but I just want you to know, honey, I'm not married. I'm a guy. You know, maybe, I, I don't even know what marriage means. I mean, your girl is not married. You know, this girl, my best girlfriend, or, you know, so my best girlfriend. But it's something where she's not married either, but it's something where I just want you to know I'm always there for you. If you need money, if you need, like, some sort of, if I can provide any sort of comfort for you, I will do it. Like, you would not believe. 
You know how to get a hold of me. I love you so much. And tell your boyfriend he better treat you nice. Because you're at the so special to my heart. I, it makes me cry. You just are. You're just so special to my heart. I just can't stand it. And tell your boyfriend he better treat you nice. He should respect you like you wouldn't believe. I just want you to know that. You know, I'm going back to fucking, you know, I'm going back to outside Detroit. I want you to show this guy better treat you so well in life. I just want you to know that. Or your boyfriend to know that. I just do.